Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a what my baby eats in a day, which I was supposed to be doing every week but I kind of failed so from now I am going to try and film what he eats at least once a week so you can kind of see the variety there. I mean I try and make it varied but some days he will eat the same stuff like two days in a row but, but most of the time I do try to make it as varied as I can. For breakfast this morning I'm just going to be doing him some plum jam and toast with a little bit of um, dairy-free flora because that's what I've got in at the minute with me and Damien being vegan. And I still always cut his um, toast into fingers because I don't know, I just kind of have it. You could probably eat it like in squares now, but we still do fingers. Cool. This is a daily occurrence when I'm doing breakfast. You do in the cupboards. So yeah, he will not eat all of that toast, that's quite a lot of toast for a one year old but um, he does throw 90% of it on the floor so I like to give him extra just in case. And the same with the fruit, he's got some strawberries, raspberries and blueberries which I have chopped up because um, I'm still a bit of a worrier about that kind of thing. Go on, get your chair then. Come here. Get your chair. Come back. Get your chair. Come here. <laughs> He is a bit of a fruit monster, so we'll always go for his fruit first over anything else. I'm at my mum's house now so um, I'm just using kind of what she has here so for his lunch we've got um, wafer thin roast chicken which I'm going to put in a sandwich for him mature cheddar which I'll probably just put on his tray um, some kiddie delicious apple crisps and just like a little yogurt. I think these are from Lidl or Aldi. I'm not sure which. Are they in date? Oh, no. Not even in date. Okay, you're not, he's not going to have them then. <laughs> and then just some chopped up grapes. Just come home. Not the healthiest afternoon snack for today, but he is having some carrot flavoured puffs and I'll probably just give him um, half a bottle of cow's milk. So for his tea, I've made him some smash, which is, doesn't sound that healthy, but it's technically not unhealthy looking at the packet. Um, it doesn't really have anything added into it. Um, but I've made that using the vegetable water that his um, vegetables were cooked in and then I'm just going to mix these vegetables in so it's just like a bit of a vegetable mix. I don't actually know what I was going to call that, that doesn't really make any sense. A mash. A mash and vegetable mix. <laughs> Doesn't sound very exciting does it? It's catchy, yeah I think that's going to catch on. <laughs> And then just to add to the flavour just a little bit more, I've um, made him um, a few baked beans which is the Tesco Healthy Living Baked Beans um, which have reduced sugar and salt so they're not too unhealthy. Okay that doesn't look very appetising to me at all but there is his veg, mash and beans mixture. I'm just waiting for it to cool down but I've also made him a fish cake which I've just cut up into loads of little bits mainly just for it to cool down quicker because it was really really hot she hides away like a gold And 
And then to go along with his tea, he's going to be having one of these apple juice drinks from Appy Kids Co. Harry absolutely loves these and I don't mind giving them to him just as like a bit of a um, treat every now and then. So they're 100% natural and lower in sugar. So they're sweetened using stevia, which is a much healthier sweetener. They also have no GMOs, artificial preservatives and are gluten free. So they're a lot healthier for kids. So he ate about 1% of his mash that I made him and he had most of his fish cakes so I'm just giving him a little bit of fruit and a munch bunch yoghurt. He actually rubbed most of the mash into his hair and eyes so <laughs> I always start off trying to feed him this myself but he, no, you don't know when I'm doing it. You want to do it then? You do it then? No, you don't want it at all? Or do you want it on the tray? Sometimes he wants it just on the tray, so I think we'll go with that. Okay, so that is the end of the video. Harry's almost finished his um, berries and yogurt, and he loves it. You love it, even though you've got most of it in your hair. Is that a gag? Yeah. Oh, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!